Hello and welcome to the Blue Otter League quarterfinals game number one, Predictive Gaming Kronos versus Flash the Disrespect. You're going to have Flash the Disrespect sitting on the blue side and you're going to have Predictive Gaming Kronos on the red side. Let's get into game. All right. I think the, the hotkey combo is U, O, and N to get all those up. U, O, and N. Yeah. Good to know. O is, I o know is like O the is. player stats. Yeah. N is the timers and then U is the... Uh, a little, um, oh, okay. The time controls. The time controls, yeah. And I, I gotta show you this after um, after the game. There's a little code you can edit to get the uh, esports looking uh, dragon and baron timers. Oh my cool. god, I need that so bad. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so uh, early start here. Um, you know, just jumping all in the same bush here, top side red for the side of predictive gaming. Um, not able to find anybody. But the late invade will come through. So trying to read the opponent a little bit. I, I think they may have watched some old videos and seen some of the early game strats that they like to run and maybe trying to read them out a little bit, but nothing going to come from it. Yeah, you get to the corner finals. That's kind of the big the big stage for Blue Otter League right now. Uh, you got to do what you got to do to find out. You're going to have both bot lanes starting uh, with a leash for their jungles. Um, I think both these junglers clear rather the same. Uh, going into just full clears and they'll clear about the same speed as well yeah i think uh both these junglers um definitely want to get the level three uh and then they might be looking towards this top side around the same time but we'll have to see about that i i really want to see how this uh matchup with uh Minisu and uh matt goes in in the mid lane just because this is such an uncommon pairing uh galio versus uh pike so yeah, I'm, I'm really uh really hyped to see how that plays out yeah you're gonna go ahead and see that level two push from muhang and mr squidicus getting that little bit of an advantage down there um obviously having the stronger level one uh, arguably i guess but morgana q kind of disgusting <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you you can never discount a Morgana Q. It's like kind of slow and pretty easy to dodge, but like when you get hit by it, it's just, it's so uh, damaging. It you chunks see, uh, level one. <laughs> yeah, it really does. A bit of an invade from Wukong there. He does spot out the uh, red getting taken away, or I'm sorry, uh, getting taken by Swagger, but yeah, nothing gonna come from that. No, so just a little bit of more information. Wukong does not get a red buff today, um, <laughs> but you That'd do be a see. Little cheeky. Uh, Swagner coming up here clearing is going to be this on the same camp as Shivana. That clear still going the same. They're probably going to meet at this top scuttle here. And Wukong definitely has the prio up here. Yeah, I would imagine they do. Yeah, Wukong pushing into that turret. And Swagner's going to make his way down into the river here. Kale's going to be a little late to join us. Yeah, I think that's the right call there. Just back off, give the uh, Scuttle Crab up. It's not worth dying over early on. Because both lanes, mid lane and uh, top lane, have priority. Yeah, and uh, actually, great job by Mansu in the mid lane. Going ahead, pulling up into that uh, top river bush. Um, not going to let the Galio get in free. Uh, as that's the only lane that Swagner could have had Pryo in. But on the flip side, the Galio is now rotating down, uh, giving that Volley Bear Pryo on his Scuttle Crab. Yeah, and Flash the Disrespect, they want to look for something here. Two Man Stun is going to come down onto the bot lane for Kronos, and they're going to have to run away. Haymaker is going to come through, but just a little bit of chunk, uh, not, not actually dealing that much damage. Yeah, not a bad use of Black Shield there. You did see that. It keeps them from being stunned. I, th I don't know if it. So if it's just two champions and the one champion gets black shield, does it stop the stun off of the other champion? It's <laughs> a really good question because I, I wonder if they don't actually make contact. Um, yeah, if it if it doesn't actually, I don't. I think it would stop the stun. I think it would just pull them. Yeah, we got volley bear coming down here. Yeah, Swag's gonna look for this gank and uh, flash in. Stun does land, but the binding won't land. A uh, good flash out for Muhong. And a little bit more action here in the mid lane. I, I don't really, honestly, like, I don't know how high kill pressure this is gonna be. I feel like this mid lane is actually just gonna turn out to be a farm fest. I think it's gonna turn into a roam fest, personally. Holy crap, your yeah. daddy. <laughs> Taking that Wukong down. 
not gonna find says the kill. Kale doesn't have a good early game. <laughs> Only when Poppy plays it, I promise. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's absolutely disgusting with that champion. Oh uh, no! That was a massive wave. Yeah, he's getting a lot of good poke down for that wave being crashed under tower. Galley was already roamed down there to the bot lane. Um, not gonna find anything of it but uh one thing i wanted to say uh, is when swagner went ahead and flash forward onto that caitlin that was a great trade of flash um yeah to be able to repeat that game um here in the upcoming putting good pressure down um we haven't really seen shivana do anything because she's gonna farm till six <laughs> yeah yeah shivana just farming up for that level six power spike and that was actually huge there in the top lane for your daddy, being able to get that poke down onto uh, Holy Felipe. Felipe? I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. Holy um, Felipe. We're going there's with no that. accent over the E, but I'm pretty sure it's Felipe. Oh, nice double root there. The Jin and Morgana combo showing up. But Jin's taking a lot of poke, and he's almost out of mana, so I expect some resets coming in soon. Yeah, he is going ahead, sitting on... 1400 gold himself already. Caitlyn's on 1500 gold. I don't know why she has more gold. Oh, because set. Yep, got it. Anyway. Maybe just. That was a good pickup, though. Numbers. That was a good pickup for the uh, the dragon recognizing uh, Swagner wasn't around. So, yeah. First dragon's gonna go over to the side of Flash the Disrespect. So. Yeah, the Dragon Queen taking her first mark there. Uh, gonna get a little bit of a power boost from it. Um, and Flash the Disrespect is known for taking a lot of random dragons. Um, they're known for kind of starting it up when you don't expect it. I guess I shouldn't say random. They're planned by them, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> calculated random dragons. Yeah. But, but that, the, that did seem pretty calculated, um, you know, moving in when they had priority bot lane as well as um, not having Swagner there. Uh, it was very easy and not even uh, contestable, really, for the side of predictive gaming. Uh, so we're going ahead looking at these these first backs. The bot lane getting a little bit ahead having those boots on the gin. Um it's going to be a Ruby Crystal versus an Amp Tome. Going to kind of negate that extra damage that Morgana can do to him. Uh, but then I like to look to the mid lane. You got the Tiamat. So now you have yeah. equal wave player in the mid lane. So Galio and Pike both are looking to roam. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see who can get the shoves when and the good timings uh, to make their roam more impactful. And I think that's yeah. more on Pike than it is on Galio. Yeah, Pike actually going to look towards this top side as uh, Galio does get the wave pushed into the turret. Might run into Pike here. And Pike is kind of on ward duty right now. He just cleared a pink in the top lane, going to clear that pink in the river, but um, definitely a loss for him. Though. He did miss out on a good chunk of that wave. Um, so that's going to even up the CS in the mid lane there for Matt. So all, the, the CS advantage that Manasu had uh, is pretty much gone now. Yeah, I mean, we can look at the gold differential here. It's 150 gold in favor total yeah, much. Uh, for Pike there with 7 CS, and that probably equals about 150 gold with the cannon minion. Um, and it's pretty much just going to be this farm fest. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of contention over objectives. Uh, Volleybear. Shivana fighting for that Rift Herald. Oh, Shivana. Oh, I may have misread that. Oh, she she did all. Yeah. And uh, Wukong actually going to go in here as well. Galio is all there to follow up. Will knock up one. Holy Felipe does flash out, but he's super low. First Blood going to get picked up there by Swagner. He's going to try to make his way out, but Death from below going to take one. Minasu has to back out now. Your daddy very low. We'll get taken out. As uh, looks like Flash the Disrespect is going to be able to clean this one up. Matt, oh! Going to be able to dodge. He's going to live. Healing up. Flash oh. has to come out. And Saivana will get that kill. So three for one first blood going over, but definitely going in the favor of Flash the Disrespect. Yeah, and they're definitely going to pick up. They, they do get a plate down on the bot side for the Jin, but that Rift Herald's going to be the real prize here off that. As much as the kills are a prize, that Rift Herald... 
three plates worth usually. Uh, a lot of gold. And Mansu making great work of his ultimate. Uh, did lose out on... Are they not going to pick up the Rift Herald? <laughs> Hang on. Uh, she doesn't know Pike didn't pick it up. Oh. Oh, that feels so bad. It, oh. It's gone. Uh, no. Uh, oh. oh. She, uh. she got it. <laughs> no, she didn't. She didn't get it. It's gone. That is so unfortunate. So, that real prize I was just talking about. No longer a prize once your daddy's head instead. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, that, that is a pretty big error there. That, that's a substantial amount of gold that you could have potentially gotten off of turret plates. So um, that's not to be ignored, but uh, still in a pretty solid lead, Flash the Disrespect, um, doing all right for themselves. So yeah. I, I don't think they got to worry too much about it. And not only is it the gold, I guess I'm not necessarily worried. The plates are very nice, but the pressure you can put out with yeah. that. Um, you have the opportunity to get first tower with that, and with that first tower, you can rotate to another tower, and it just is a stacking yeah. effect. Is looks like they're gonna catch set here. That can even help you secure dragon, and set will get stunned up there, rooted as well, taunted up. This man had no time to play these legends, and the kill is gonna go over to Matt as well. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that is bad timing now as well with dragon just respawning. Yeah, don't look now, but I think Poppy's going to start chasing down Holy Felipe in the top lane. Ooh, that's a lot of damage coming through there, Poppy. Oh, oh! miscalculating it just by, like, 10 health. Not going to be able to pick that one up. And uh, Dragon will get secured there for Predictive Gaming. So, coming back a little bit, but yeah, that is, uh, that's got to hurt a little bit in the top lane there. Yeah, I mean, it hurts Poppy's soul to not get a kill every time. He plays for a kill. He doesn't play for farm. He farms champions. Um, unfortunately not going to farm that Wukong up, but we'll pick up some plates as a consolation prize. But the dragon being picked up, uh, big. Flash in there. Black Shield's going to come out just a little bit late, but it looks like, uh, Swag, or I'm sorry, Archer and Slovena are going to be able to run back. Dark Binding does land. But, yeah. Uh, good disengage there. A little bit sketchy, but not enough follow-up from the side. I, I think a Caitlyn Trap probably could have gotten placed there. Yeah, I I was thinking that the Black Shield stopped a Caitlyn Trap. It oh, might've. you might be right. Yeah. I think so it right. came out late for the stun from the set flash, but not for the uh, trap itself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good plays down in the bot lane, though, by Predicted Gaming. The attempts thwarted from Muhong and Mr. Squidicus. But yeah, what happened to that top lane, I think, is kind of... Uh... A little bit concerning for the side of Flash the Disrespect, seeing your solo laner get bullied out so hard. He is the only one with teleport. That's the only champion you're going to be able to run split push. So I think you kind of knock that off uh, your table for really options going into the mid game. So I expect uh, a lot more grouping from the side of Flash the Disrespect. And I think your win condition if you're Kronos is kind of abuse your ability to run down those side lanes. Yeah, you definitely have TP on both Galio and Kale. You have Gal. Oh, excuse me. You have Galio himself. And oh, Vina's been on the point with those bindings. I just want to say that. Oh like, no, that she's, is. She's been knocking them out. That is a necessary comment. <laughs> um, <laughs> going ahead. I forgot where I was going with whatever I was going yeah. with. Uh, Wukong getting punished in the top lane. That's what we yeah. were talking yeah. about. Yeah. As Shivana looks to be ganking the top lane, maybe as Set's trying to gank mid. Double ganks. Yeah, Holy Felipe is pretty low as Dragon's gonna come through, Knockup comes through as well, but da your daddy will have that invincibility and does stay alive. Looks like mid lane, nothing really happened either. Your daddy does have to be careful though here because uh, of the tower dive. Dash in, Felipe is gonna get the kill, but trades himself. And uh, the rest of uh, Flash the Disrespect joining the top lane party, but just a little bit too late. And uh, Matt should be able to clean that farm up. Yeah, the Galio TP coming out just a hair late uh, if he's wanting to save. Did uh, go ahead and pick up that trade kill, so not the worst thing in the world for your daddy is he's going to scale up. And as we were talking about that bot, that bot lane is going to go ahead and take that tower. But um, up there in the top lane, you have the Galio that can split and make a huge difference in that. With just coming in with his ulti, he doesn't need the TP. Um, just push and come back and 
it's going to be up to Flash of the Disrespect to find the team fights, to find the picks, um, to accomplish what they're looking for. Yeah, and a good uh, little turret secure in the bot lane there. And unfortunately, uh, Flash of the Disrespect was not able to get anything off of uh, the kill they did pick up in the top lane. Of course, they did trade. So, but I, I think um, an opportunity missed there to get some turret damage down. But yeah, and especially since they lost that, uh, sorry to interrupt, but that uh, no, you're tower good. on you're the good. bot side. So really, it yeah, was a one-for-one yeah. one and a tower for Kronos. Yeah, um, so uh, I think all in all, that that is a favorable trade for Kronos. They've pretty much evened up the gold now. And uh, even Dragon's very even game so far, but so far it's seeming like uh, a bit of a low kill game. I, I think both of these teams are playing for late. And uh, I'm not going to lie, Buck, I really hope that all the games aren't like this. I, I really <laughs> want a little bit more early game action, but we'll just have to see. Hey, you know what? You'll get your play-by-play -play in eventually, but just <laughs> let me color for a little bit, okay? I like my crayons and colored pencils. <laughs> <laughs> no, as much as I love my art set, I do enjoy a, a whole lot more action than what is happening. But both teams taking it slow. It's a best of five. Uh, no need to rush it. No need to try and snowball out of control in game one. Maybe that is the place to yeah. do it. Wukong did pick up that Hex Drinker, though. I know he did it on that back before uh, he fought Kale under that tower. But that's delaying him a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, it, it's kind of, it feels a little necessary because he is taking a, a lot of poke, but you're right, it's going to delay his uh, item spikes. And I think even with it, like, it still doesn't really matter. He, he's losing that, those trades. The only reason he got that trade kill was due to the gank. And I think uh, Shadvana, she's really got to look to snowball some other lanes, in my opinion. I think she needs to look more towards this mid lane, possibly this bot lane, move around with Pike and try to make things happen. Um, but I think focusing on, on that top lane is a little bit, is going to be tough for them. Because I, I think, um, I, I don't really see Wukong pulling ahead in, in that matchup. Yeah, I mean, if she was going to gank, she needed to, they needed a gank heavy jungler if they wanted to win that matchup in the top lane. Like, it's always going to be a losing matchup eventually. <laughs> Swag. Cops on patrol, this is my river. Stay out of my territory. But, yeah, that top lane matchup is not going to be something that's going to be favorable, really, ever, after level yeah. 6. Yeah, so Shyvana is starting to look towards the bot side, but Vision secured uh, out from the side of Predictive Game and Chrono, so it looks like they're ready for this dragon. Just a little bit early. Set does... Uh, he does not have teleport, so he's going to have to run from base. Might be a little bit late to this one, but yeah. Flash the Disrespect, they're, they're trying to clear wards. Kronos does have the inside, or sorry, Flash the Disrespect does have the inside track here. And there's no TP on the Kale. There is on the Wukong, however, yeah. so uh, this might be a dragon you just kind of dance around and force the TP out from Wukong and trade it and give it away. Yeah, and unless there's something about that... Something in Kale's kit that I don't know about. I, I don't think she has any way to stop Wukong from joining the fight if he wants to. So I think this might be a. I mean, here. if she just kills him, <laughs> we're gonna see the contest. Dragon does get smited away by Flash the disrespect, but the follow-up is gonna come through Cyclone and knocking Matt out of his hero's uh, entrance. As one kill is gonna get picked up by Matt, he's gonna go super low. Does knock up Nanasu. Gonna take him so low, but not able to secure the kill. One kill coming back from Mu Hong. Trying to pick this one up. Imperial Archer gonna get one for himself, but does fall immediately after there. So three for two, and a dragon going over to the side of Flash the Disrespect. I think that's a big win for them. Yeah, they did lose a tower up in the top lane, though, and Kale's gonna get some good chip damage on this second tower. Um... I don't know if yeah. they needed to fully commit to that fight. It wasn't the worst fight in the world, but an unnecessary one at some point. Yeah, they are getting a little damage down in mid lane here. They might actually be able to pick this up. Shyvana is just annihilating that thing. That Nash is too. Yeah, I think the, the trade back for the mid lane turret kind of evens things up. But you are right. Yeah, Kale getting alone time in that top lane is not what you want to see inside of Flash the Disrespect. But... 
Yeah, Dragon Fight. I, I think they really wanted to snowball that fight into a tower, which is kind of what they got. Um, so yeah, definitely, like we talked about kind of a draft, I think Flash of the Disrespect is looking more for those team fights than they are uh, much of anything else. They, they don't have really much pick or um, split power. Yeah, so we can look at the lane assignments right now. So they're looking to catch somebody out right now, but Jin's bot lane, uh, Caitlyn's already up there. Uh, it's kind of already a... At this point, a 3v5 for predictive gaming around yeah, this Rift Herald. I think, yeah, they're actually going to try for this Rift Herald. Um, predictive gaming does have some vision on the back there, so they should know none of the players have left the area. But we'll see if they actually want to contest this. Jin did join, so great uh, ult in there for... Uh, Set as uh, a lot of damage is going to come down on the Slovena. Ult's going to come out onto the top of the first cyclone. Just knocked up one. Death from below going to pick up one. And uh, it looks like on the bot side here, Matt is going to get himself taken out by Codenim. And uh, all in all, it's a three for three. Very explosive fights. Yeah, Shivana did pick up the Rift Arrow this time, though, and I think they might be looking to. Oh, her ult ran out. She's not going to go ahead and push that down. Getting that at the very last second, sneaky, not necessarily sneaky play, but uh, definitely a decisive play from the side of uh, Flash the Disrespect. Um, you kind of saw a little bit of disjointedness in some of the team calls from both teams in that sense. Uh, Pike trying to go uh, death, or, uh, death from below and got killed from above, but there's not... <laughs> There's not too much. He kind of went a little bit ham on that backline by himself. X Flash gonna come out for uh, Squidicious. Is that how you say that? Mr. Squid Mr. Squidicious. Squidicious. Yeah. That's a pretty interesting I think I said Squidicus earlier. <laughs> I wanted to say his name in the team play, but I hadn't really read it clearly. So I was Super like, maybe hard. I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Squidicious, uh, he's been very aggressive on that stuff. I, I think. Um, it's paid yeah. off pretty well, but I, I don't know. He, he's doing set things. Uh, I mean, that's what I can say. that ultimate there at Rift Herald did secure them the Rift Herald, but it was a little yeah. over aggressive in the fact that he definitely could have just died if he didn't have that flash. I'm pretty yeah. sure he died anyway, so. Yeah, I think I he mean. was one of the members who went down there. Uh, Manasu, I, I felt like the death from below, he, he really wants to clean up these fights, but there's just not enough sustained damage coming out of the Caitlyn yet to actually get people low enough to for him to just reset onto multiple targets. So he did get one down there, but um, yeah, I, I think uh, there just needs to be a little bit more damage coming through. Very AD heavy team from the side of Flash the Disrespect. Yeah, but you got one heavy AP damage that is five, zero, and four with a 700 gold <sighs> shutdown right now. That's TP coming true. up from Kale. Yeah, Dragon spawning in 34 seconds. Squidish is going to get himself in an interesting predicament. Wow, that is a lot of damage coming out of that uh, Shyvana. You are right. Swagner going to get chunked out right before this fight. Yeah, and Swagner's the tank, right? That Rift Herald being used mid, great for pressure. Kale's going to be sent back to deal with it. And so do you give up Dragon for this, or do you... Yeah, the team getting split up here now as uh, your daddy is going to have to use that ultimate on himself. Swagner going to get a catch right here uh, in the river. Does take out the set. Now Cyclone going to come across three members of the team, but going to end up falling down. So Holy Felipe uh, giving up his life there. Manasu going to get himself one kill, but what is it worth? He's going to get taken out now as well, and that should be easy. Dragon going over to the side for pretty good gaming. Yeah, you go ahead and give him a shutdown, so it's three for three now. And Predictive Gaming has all the members necessary. Or no, two for three. Oh, Predictive Gaming hello on that. Yeah, they, they definitely... I mean, I think they went three for... Th no, you're right, two for three, yeah. So. I, thought they, I thought Swagner was going down, but he did not go down. Instead, he went up and back to full health. Oh my gosh, that feels oh, so bad. Shyvana able to jump over the wall, gets the dragon. Can she secure herself a kill? Tries to flash out, but will go down. Teleport's gonna come through now for Holy Felipe. He's gonna try to pick himself up one kill, but just barely able to get it. Lax Matt flashing over the ace in the hole, though. It's gonna be enough. 
and uh, good cleanup there for the side of Flash to disrespect, and they were able to get the dragon, so soul point now for them. Yeah, you wanted action. We've got action all of a sudden uh, coming out here in the mid game. Set. Flash over the wall. <laughs> Mr. Aggressive. Uh, he is. Uh, yeah, he's getting a little bit, a little bit feisty. I don't I like know it. if he knows this, but Kale does a lot of damage. She does do a lot of damage. And kites really well. <laughs> I I still question the um, the pick in the mid lane though. Uh, Manasu, it is one of his most played champions. Um, I just like I I feel like the presence of Pike is not doing as much as um, the presence from some from some of the other like assassin mid laners. Um, thinking specifically like LeBlanc, she was one that maybe could have dove in there, gotten the kill on the Slovena, and then made it out. But uh, Manasu not making himself very useful by going in there, taking out a support, and then immediately getting shut down. So. Yeah, I mean, he wanted it. He was hunting. And I guess at some point you can hunt to a fault. Predictive gaming, looking yeah. for a catch here. Ooh, binding. Just missing there, Spedicious. Um, that's a sad day. Yeah, that's... He, I, yeah. Slovena's gotten a, a lot of good bindings this game. And, you know, you, gotta, you can't hit all of them. No, you can. Some more gonna works. Slovena do better. She needs that. Galio. Just saw the hourglass completed now, so we can be able to team fight a little bit better. Hero's entrance gonna get canceled there for Nat, and he's just gonna get left for dead. A uh, little bit of uh, miscommunication there, as your daddy had just recalled. Set up on the Baron. I, are they gonna, they're actually gonna start this up here. Flash coming taken away. No uh, flash from the side of Swagger, but he can jump up that wall with the ultimate. Slovena getting chunked out there. Vicious. He's gonna play interference here. Try to uh, lock up Swagger for as long as possible. 3,000 health on the Baron. They are gonna be able to take out the. Uh, Support, but Baron's gonna go over to the side of Flash the Disrespect. Yeah, they did force out that ultimate from Swagner, which was kind of his only ability to get into that pit once yeah. the blast cone was gone. So good by them. Um, I guess I can't fault Squidicious for giving four Barons to no. his team. Yeah, I, I think uh, Squidicious really uh, taken one for the team there, uh, playing interference very, very well. And, uh, yeah, so Baron secured on four members. Turret does get picked up there, though, by Kale, so a little bit uh, coming back to the side of uh, Kronos. I think, though, we got to talk, like, what do they need to do to win this game? I, I think they've been a little bit out macroed so far. We saw the Rick Herald play, um, you know, going down mid lane, uh, and a, a lot of uh, just pressure getting exerted from the side of Flash Disrespect, despite us talking about how, you know, Kronos has the superior side lanes. Um, I, I just, like, it, it kind of makes you wonder, like, what's what's going wrong or what's going right for the side of Flash and Disrespect. Yeah, I mean, like, looking right now, they're, they have the members right now. Uh, Kale had to respond top lane that yeah. had been pushed in. So it's just, at this point, the Baron macro, they have the speedier team. They have... Oh, Archer? Yeah, good, uh... Oh, actually gonna pop that GA there. Holy Felipe is gonna have to get out. Another skewer. Oh my gosh, but getting blown up by the gym there. Is Shivana allowed to do that? Uh, <laughs> wow, that is a lot of damage. Odinam. Oh my gosh! Just one-shotting people. Sense? Like, this Jesus. is insane. Let me just be a sniper. Yeah. Wow, I that that was a very abrupt end of this game number one here. But yeah, it's just absolutely snowballing uh, this bot lane. That Shivana is just insane. Yeah, Shivana can't make it through to the next phase. They, that's not something that can be fought. They're either gonna have to go ahead and pick it in game two, or uh, ban it out because that that can't happen. It was almost like a bait too, because we talked about how much AD there was on the side of. Uh, Flash the disrespect, but they were just able to, uh, you know, make that Shyvana so strong. You saw the
taking the time to check out game number one, Predictive Gaming Chronos falling down to flash the disrespect, make sure to check out the rest of the Best of Five series on our channel.